Friendly greetings, it's Torley here with an awesome video tutorial tour of Trim, my favorite Earl Shortener. I make video tutorials of stuff that I like and I'm passionate about. After all, if I don't give a damn, why bother, eh? <laughs> anyway, Trim, it's a very short Earl, just four characters and a dot. Well, okay, five. There's a lot of Earl Shorteners out there. You may have seen this life hacker. Well, if you search for Earl Shortener, they've done a lot of articles and oh my gosh, a whole bunch of choices. I've tried like a dozen of them. There are a number of reasons why I like trim the most right now. Because so many of these Earl Shorteners, they have specific features. They're good at specializing their novelties, but trim encapsulates, encapsulates rather many of those into one tool. So you don't have to bother. You're like, why the heck? It creates too much cognitive overhead to have a lot of those choices. You also notice that trim, we also have custom bookmarklets that you can drag in there or you can go ahead and install a dashboard widget, which is nice for you Mac fans like myself. But on Firefox, nice browser, I use it. I could very well have that too. Let's start with the basics. So it's easy. You've probably even used Tiny Earl or another one before. You just take an Earl like this and select it and Control C to copy and then Control V to paste. And a custom Earl here. Now you can do without that, but it makes it into a bunch of weird little characters for at this point. I think they're escalating upwards, but a custom Earl could be like Shorta. <laughs> and then you click Trim. And by the way, it also has Twitter integration. If you care about that, I do. All these tools link together. It's great for Twitter because as you know, Twitter characters, 140 characters long, and you wanna be short. So let's be Kurt here and then let's click this so we can trim and here it is. So from hereabouts, if you have your Twitter login and password, they assure us that they keep it safe and just copy that. And you can try it like I go to file menu, new tab. Control V to paste, copy paste, and the enter key. And it expands it automatically, just like so. Now, the extra benefits come after you log in because you can get stats, and that's pretty compelling. So then, what's up next? Well, of course, you want to click log in. I've already pre-populated this, but you just type in its standard username and password after you've created your account really simple process here. It's one of the shortest darn sign up forms I've seen. So when you're done that, let me go back. You can click login. Nice how it goes blue to orange. Hey, that's like the Second Life website contrast. Ooh. Uh, okay. Anyway, log in and it brings us now to a oh hole. And some of these are the prettiest stats I've seen on the net. Now they are buggy in some browsers that's had some oddity problems, but they've been revising it. So you can see a history as you see, these are all my past trim earls that I've shortened and some are quite popular compared to others like this TTX Street. This is promoting XStreetSL.com. E-commerce for virtual world number one. And just click that and you can see stats. And this is, this is my personal account. This is what you're really looking at. I've been using it for weeks now, you can see. I, I could promote this one more, but humans, bots, this is relatively new, I think. And a fancy pie chart and tells you doesn't give you personally identifying info. So if you're concerned about privacy, don't worry about clicking one of these. It just gives you basic an idea and country, you know, who's going to come and stalk you. Nobody. That's who that's just freaking ridiculous. Most of the time, ah, have reasonable expectations. You can see timeline of every day how many people have clicked on it during a day so this is great if you're running a promo campaign and you're like i want to see i'm gonna post this for a week and then hold off and change it to another trim earl or something like that and then post it the week after that so you can see it correlates with time access that way this nice chart better than what excel can make gosh darn it and you can see oh yeah i have a few referrals from here that's what I do on my creative Tumblr blog. You can click any one of them, of course, and you see, okay, this is where it came from. Pretty neat. All connections all around the web. I amplify your awesome and I love tangents but to get back on track and show use for information. Agents, of course. Now there's some bit of oddity. I've noticed sometimes Mac OS 10 counts are higher or OS X counts are higher than they, I would expect them to be. I got to look closer into that to see what is actually being counted, but it gives you a breakdown. So yeah, a lot of people in Firefox, that's quite jolly. 
take that IE. Uh, locations and of course just general countries. Like I said, you know, it's 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 just an overview. It doesn't track you down to your neighborhood or, or a Google Maps car for that matter. Do, 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 do. So your account, you can just go back at any time. You can collapse and expand your URLs. If you click here, like I have, you can see all your URLs. And by the way, this is really handy next to one of them. What I hope in the future is they have, oh, you can actually search it. Hey, I don't remember seeing that before. That's cool. But otherwise, if you have an URL you want to keep uh, a stat, uh, keep track of your stats on, then you can just go ahead and click that. And you notice know, so it's always statistics forward slash login screen. So you just save that. If you want to check it over a week, over a month, if you're running a campaign, that's all really handy. You can go ahead and edit various things. Uh, one thing you can't do yet, this just makes it more descriptive. I haven't really used this a lot. I would like to be able to change the short URL. This is an auto-generated one, but even for custom ones, I would love to change it after doing it because I know other URL shortening services can do this, so I'm hoping. And by the way, feedback, click here, and oh, look, what are they using user voice for their feature suggestions? So I voted. I did vote for that. Let me get off the beaten track again. And let's see, I think it was number six here. Why do I have 10 votes still left? I thought I voted for this, but it was here somewhere. That sounds nice too. Oh, option to change an URL. That was it. And I bet I have a comment there too. I didn't. Something is missing. Aha. Uh -huh. So let me vote for that. So come on now. It's like dig. You just vote it. Yeah, let me give three votes to allocate that. That sounds great. Live. Okay. So anyway, back to the main uh, the the beast of things. I would say the breast of things. It doesn't make any sense. You can set all these different options. I like viewing a lot of stuff. Just really self-explanatory. It gives you a great balance between, hey, this gives you enough choices to be a power user, yet not so many that it overwhelms you with paralysis of choice, which is nice. I should change my time zone because I'm really in Pacific time. And my email account, yeah, account profile. And pretty much, yeah. And like they say, yep, da da da. So, okay, dokie, let me show you how this custom bookmarklet works. This is really important, and it works basically the same way as Firefox extension, except this is a little better integrated, or more than little. Anyway, though, it's really, really simple to trim URLs with this, so you don't have to keep coming back to this website. You've got your options here in a bookmarklet. So, okay, you got different options. A basic one, though, would be this. So I can just click and drag this, and like it says, it's a bookmarklet. Now, when I'm on any page, let's go back to my Tum blog and let's go to a, hmm, let me actually click on the home and let's find something cool here. Ooh, that's nice. I click there and you see that's pretty long URL. Now I can just click trim here to use the bookmarklet and shorten it. Oh, and there it is. Shorten just like that. Voila. Long story short, that's trim. Go ahead, give it a whirl. I'm just going to log out now. It's really, really simple to use, really enjoyable. And the benefits are not just making the URL shorter, of course, it's enjoyability of having these stats that you can track and compatibility with other services to help with your online connected life. Gosh, I remember when I was in dial-up and the modem went do, 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 and it went Do you remember that? Well, long gone are those days and here is Trim. Check it out! Yezerama.